Black Friday is like a do this show. Hey, everybody, welcome to Lester Saints of Discord. Every the Friday, four thirty p.m. Pacific Standard Time, seven thirty p.m. Eastern what the fuck Standard is... Time. Fuck. What, what the fuck is what intro for the show, Cass? She was talking about the music. Oh uh, yeah, it's Flight of the Valkyries. Oh yeah, we still need to change that. Cats, find us some well, shit. Well, if people if people would start suggesting shit that we could use, or suggesting shit, period, we might find something else. Cats, because it's fair use, and we can. Yeah, that Why song not? is public domain, so nobody will well, fuck with. But not all so. recordings are public domain, yeah. and so, but this one is because uh, Ludwig and somebody else are doing this whole project to make music for uh, YouTubers and Twitch streamers and just creators in general so that they can 100% have public domain stuff. The recording is copyright free, everything. It's not that we're Valkyries, Katzen, it's that we like Valkyries. They're hot. I've got it painted on this. I've got one painted on the side of my van. Don't, don't yeah. hate on the Valkyries. The Valkyries of the God of War guys are pretty badass. Yeah, I have a, I have a Valkyrie pinup. I have a pinup style Valkyrie on my thigh, tattooed. I mean, if we're gonna go with the real Norse mythology, Valkyries were very hideously looking. So, um. Yeah, yeah nobody cares huge... about the real mythology. <laughs> okay. <laughs> be I was a huge fan of, uh... of the battles they experienced. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I was a huge fan of the Justice League, so. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, some somebody's a hawk girl fan. Yeah. <laughs> Going around giving people the bunk. <laughs> yeah. Bunk. <laughs> the. The original, uh, horny on main bunk. So how was your guys' week? Um, well, <laughs> I was listening to a podcast with Ari Shafir, and he was promoting a date that he's doing here in Seattle. It's a, it's a theater show. And he announced that one of my other favorite comedians, Dan Soder, is going to be joining him. So oh. I was like, aw, sweet. Two of my favorite comedians, one night... <sighs> I think I'll be willing to pay the ticket price for that. And I was like, okay, cool. Dan Soder does The Bonfire, which is a radio show on Sirius. Uh, does it with Big J Okerson. I have a sweater. I have a zip-up hoodie uh, as their merch. But this one's kind of old, so I went to go buy a new one. There wasn't any... They were out of stock, so I just bought a t-shirt instead. And then, later that night... I was listening to that day's radio show, and he announced he's leaving the show. So I just bought a new shirt with his name on it, and uh, he's leaving the show. So that was cool. That How was your week? The three bits catch. Yeah, thanks for I'm the video. Most sick. of my week was good. It uh, snowed yesterday, and that was kind of cool. And Fox. then... Uh, it kept snow. It snowed last night to the point where, on the way to get to work, it uh, actually ended up with uh, ten inches of snow on the road. And I'm in an area of California where it almost never snows. We were not ready for this shit. <laughs> on my way yeah. to work today, I actually got uh, got stuck and had to abandon my truck. Goddamn. That that was uh, a reminder. I really need to get either get a new truck or get my transmission fit working. But uh, with a little one, I'm thinking I just need to get a new truck because I need something with uh, a second set of doors to access the back of the vehicle. Yeah, that might be a the... good idea. Yeah. Yeah, snow sucks. Fuck snow. <clears throat> I got my yep. truck out uh, about an hour or two ago, but, uh, yeah. It's always important to have rope in your vehicle. 
that is what got me out of the uh, out of the snow when we went to go grab it. Uh, yeah, my dad always taught me rope, kitty litter, um, salt, flares, flashlight. Uh, sleeping bag. Yeah, warm blanket. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, um, I love. I just love the difference. It's just like, you know, it's like I wake up. It's like ah, ten inches of snow. My commute's gonna suck. I'm yeah. Used to ten inches. Well, so. you've got snow plows. Uh, yeah. That's the issue. California doesn't exactly have snow plows. Or, because it doesn't usually snow. Or at the very least, they didn't have them ready to go. Yeah. Well, like, even I in know, my small I'm pretty town... sure... I'm pretty sure they plowed yesterday when it was, like, maybe six inches of snow at the deepest. And then today, it probably hit a foot of snow total. Yeah. Yeah. Even the small town I grew up didn't really have snow plows. It's just that everybody had a plow attachment for their truck. So <laughs> we're just plowing our own roads while we get everywhere. That's yeah. Well, I'd love for this to happen a little more often. Maybe they'd be ready for it. Yeah. It's also, I like... would have preferred. I would have preferred it snowing as bad as it was elsewhere down at my house, so I could look outside and be like, "Yeah, I ain't getting to work." As opposed to going up the road yeah. and hitting a point where yeah. where I'm like, eh, probably be a good idea to go home. Eh, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometime later, it is not fine. Yes. Well, Snow has that was fun I... habit of compacting into forms that just basically solidify and don't want to move afterwards. Well, that wasn't that that wasn't exactly the issue. I it it, uh, it was just barely freezing, so it was kind of slushy. Yeah. Uh, for the future, keep some kitty litter in there. It helps spread that around. You can get uh, some traction. Yep. Uh, yeah. No, no. I I, I realized that the biggest issue I was having was that uh, when the firemen tried helping me pull. Uh, to get out it i ended up sliding again just a few feet later and they're like okay back it into the ditch you'll have to come get it later but we're getting you out of here or you can sleep in it and i made the decision to put it in a, in not in the ditch but off to the side of the road turns out it was in the road but uh not that not yeah. that you could see um nope <laughs> But, uh, yeah, one of the tires ended up in the dirt, or I should say mud, and the other one was on the asphalt, uh, for my rear tires, and my four-wheel drive's broken. Uh, my transfer case is non-functional, and that's what you need for four-wheel drive. For yeah, those who don't that know, don't the, help. Uh, I think, I don't know who's here that might not know that, but not important. Well, needless yeah, to say, a... four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive are not the same thing. Definitely not. I mean, both use a... Because with four-wheel drive, you have the option of using only two wheels. <laughs> yeah. Both both use a variation of the transfer case. The difference is whether or not it can be engaged or it is permanently engaged. Yeah. If it's permanently engaged, it's an all-wheel drive system. Hey, make it subscribe to Tier 1. Subscribe for 33 months. Yeah. As I'm sure Yami can attest to, even if your roads have been plowed, you ain't safe. <laughs> nope. Yeah. It, my my only the only thing that benefited me is I I actually do have an idea of how to drive in snow. Um, as a result, every single year, every single year when the first snowfall happens, I'm like, hmm, I wonder how many motherfuckers died today. <laughs> well. Yeah, because like I, I all said, I know how to drive I know snow how to every do it. fucking year. I, it I know matter. how to do it. It does not mean that I'm not going to be sitting there making a dumb decision like not turning around when I know I should. 
You're like, yeah. oh, I can handle this. It's fine. Like, like I said, hey, it'll be fine. <laughs> it's, but, you know, it's, it yeah, was like, not just fun. every year. Every fucking year. It's like, it snows here every fucking year. And every year, you motherfuckers end up in ditches or in massive accidents. Yeah, at least I yeah, have the excuse. I, I this was the first time it snowed here in a decade. And it snowed more than every I've year ever these seen motherfuckers snow forget up here. How to drive. Yeah, every year. Are they fucking getting year. blizzard warnings down in Southern California, too? I don't know if it's SoCal they're getting blizzard warnings. I know they're getting them. We're getting them up here. Well, not blizzard, but definitely or at winter least, storm. Yeah, maybe at least like Central California. I know LA has been super cold lately. Yeah, Min Weird. like Minnesota and places like in the upper Midwest got the shit kicked out of them recently. <laughs> yes, uh, they I, I, did. I, I tell oh. you what, though, most of the time when, uh, when it does snow here, more often than not, it's melted before noon. You're you're mm -hmm. lucky to see any snow at 10 a.m. Today we ended up heading uh, heading out there at like two, and there was still good solid amounts of snow on the huh it was one my wife says but uh yeah we were there for a while and there was still s hell i think there's still snow in the bed of my truck from it sitting there for like five hours <laughs> i will yeah. say yeah. every year minnesota will always get snowfall and every year motherfuckers are still sliding and everything it's like well, you, you know what Taunton, Minnesota got 21 inches of snow this week. Nice. Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, Yami and Sir, right there, I'm sure you can attest to this. You can tell what kind of snow day it's going to be based on the flakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah if, if you go outside and, like, you just see, like, like, a whole bunch of flakes like the size of dimes or larger coming down it's like it's gonna be a bad fucking day <laughs> yeah, oh yeah it's like and it's not only that but it, if it like mixes in with a little bit of the sleet then you know motherfuckers are gonna be stupid in trying to get out there but they are forgetting that sleet can also cause icy roads flush of yeah. black ice yeah. and it's like the, the only I'm thing worse is that the only thing worse than snow is fucking freezing rain. Yeah, that day that I had freezing rain here. Because fuck, that like we've suck. We've had ice storms. And fuck ice storms. Jesus Christ. No. I think the only thing I regret about today was that it wasn't snowing as hard as it was at the top of the ridge where I am. Because then I, like I said, I would have just been able to look outside and be like, nope, I'm going. I'm gonna call my boss, tell him I ain't coming in. Call it a day. <laughs> oh god damn it bars here yeah. <laughs> yeah hey larry larry's awesome like once here. you once you get to the point of like everything is covered in a quarter inch layer of ice or more you're fucked oh, everything's yeah. Hell, fucked if it's just you could have just enough ice to barely come to the top of the the bumps in the asphalt and you're fucked Yeah, because, oh. like, everything becomes dangerous at that point. Power lines come down, tree branches collapse under the weight. <laughs> that was happening. Ice sickles works. get so big they can kill you. You know the oh, craziest oh. part? Uh, uh, so, I had to leave my truck, like I said. Well, we came back to pick it up, to, to pull it out of the, the snow and get it home. A tree branch large enough that it would have caused body damage fell directly in front of my truck and another tree branch roughly the same size fell directly behind my truck hitting my tailgate a little bit but, but right in between the two <laughs> i did not get hit but holy fuck did i just end up in the right spot not to get hit yeah Snow so, with snapping shit. So mm -hmm. Bar's saying he has an AI voice changer. Bar, when you said yeah, that, I thought... Yeah, with that. Yeah, Bar, when you said that, I I thought you meant that you were gonna, like, do some sort of AI shit with our voices. <laughs> and I was just gonna say, go ahead, try to make it say something I wouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's the worst part. You you'd <laughs> probably have a more conservative Jables if, if if you did him in AI. That's creepy. I don't think I could handle a more conservative Jables. <laughs> oh, I can do it. Please don't. No, I'll just start doing yeah. a more conservative Jable. Wait, what do you mean conservative? Like politically or just like how I behave? Yes. Uh, your language. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't I don't need I don't need to call you Ben Shapiro, okay? No, we don't need that. I, just imagine Jables using rap scallion instead of asshole, bitch, cunt, those sorts of things. I think that yeah. would result in total atomic reverse if he kept it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jables, just think Mormon. Ooh. Mormon? Okay. It's like no. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'm not gonna swear anymore. Bullshit. Uh, I'm gonna last. try my best. You know, Yami, you say ew, but uh, on an individual level, most of the uh, most uh, of the Mormons uh, I've met are pretty chill people. It's just when you get them in a group, or, or you get them talking about their religion, or yeah, when you start getting a little more involved with them and then you start to see all the real shit that they believe and then it's like it gets a little weird so it's like scientology no i, uh, I i'd rather yeah. deal with mormons than scientologists yeah uh, hands down bar it's funny you say that i'm actually working on writing a clean act so jokes <sighs> on you fucker damn it i fucked up <laughs> <laughs> I knew that wouldn't last. Uh, <laughs> should have took bets on that. Yeah. All right. I'm still gonna try to go the rest of the show with that swing. <laughs> <laughs> Nincom poops. Yeah. Yeah. Nincom poops is a great one. What's the deal with airline peanuts? Shut I up, don't... Larry. <laughs> Hey, food! Larry no. started it this time, not me. Well, no, that's just a that's just a hacky uh, stand-up premise. That's all. Yeah. Thanks, Seinfeld. Asshole. <laughs> Minutes Everyone... since Jable swore counter. Be... Uh, uh, uh. No, that would be way too much work. Yeah, I don't want to update it every five seconds. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, but then... Also, also, your recordings, your sound... Soundboard counts as you swearing. Oh, come on. If they swear... If they swear in the soundboard, it counts as you swearing. Because you're making a choice. <laughs> that's... Oh, but, but Patrick that's... Kind of has you there. Gophers is hilarious. <laughs> I don't disagree. Let's make it. Let's go even further. Titties is considered a swear word, so you can't start no. saying "show them titties." No. <laughs> no, we can't count titties as a swear word. Why? Because it's it's just a really noun. Thoughts. It's just a plural noun. But if you're going to swear, you're going to probably play that clip over and over and over, and it's going to count as a swear word. Hey, I, if we had a swear jar, I could fill that thing myself over the course of a show. Same. All right. what What's considered swear words? Uh, we'll start saying them, and we'll let you know when you failed. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo, don't go. Okay. <laughs> Dick. Eh. Nah. I wouldn't it consider that a swear It depends on context. Word. Depends on context. Okay. Damn. Don't be a dick. Uh, damn Which... is very low level, but it still counts. It's in the yeah. Bible. Especially if you upgrade it to God damn it. Yeah, well, well so is bitch, and that's a swear word. Polygamy is also in the Bible, Jables. Well, depends on the Bible you're talking about, but still. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bitch is in the Bible, okay. too, and that's still a swear word. Yep. So Okay, does this, does this have any Very true, sir. In it? Cr 
crude, but not swearing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's just that's like almost a clean version of swearing in a way. That is literally yeah, taking. That's... That is li that literally <laughs> sounds like it's someone taking uh, swear words out of uh, out of lyrics and replacing it with a uh, cleaner version of it. Yes, right? kids bop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the kids bop version. Oh god. All right. Um. Are, is there seriously still snow in my bed? <laughs> is there? Yeah. Um, Jesus Christ. Well, and my wife didn't have to go to my truck to see. She looked out the bathroom window, <laughs> so there's enough in <laughs> nice. there that it's pretty visible. Do you want to do some blow, man? Come on, let's snort some yay. <laughs> not, not swearing. Oh, oh so yeah. Bart, why are we talking about? Well, me? it's just because he says. Why are we no. talking about me? Oh, okay. Mm, yeah. Because of your yams, yammy. Because of your yams. <laughs> okay. Do, my yams. Is, do you forget where your name comes from? Uh, no, because I have a constant reminder every day. Every. That sounds like a you problem. Day. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Take old is is a uh, is a swear word? Huh? No. Because piss can technically be an action. Uh, it can be a swear word depending on its use. A lot of swear words are only swear words depending on how you use them. It's really dumb. Mm -hmm. But British yeah. people say piss off. That's not technically swearing, though. Wait, no, so are, are we going to go by... So are we going to go by, like, FCC rules? Should that uh, be the rule? Oh, that's a... That's a good question. <laughs> Quick, the George Carlin list. <laughs> ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Yeah, because FCC rules. Oh man, that takes. Never mind. Let's not do that. Yeah, and then you might really be fucking yourself right there. Because I, I used to listen to Opie and Anthony, and when they switched over to satellite radio, where they were uncensored. They would do the dump report, which is because they would do like regular terrestrial radio. And then the second half of the show was on satellite radio and they would do the dump report for everything that they had to mute. <laughs> like drop the signal. I saw it while I took and of it. Where'd you post it, Y2K? It's in the chat. Wow. Aww. Oh. In this chat? No. Yeah. The only link I see <laughs> is from Larry. Let's, oh let's see God. how long it takes him to figure it out. <laughs> Jables I, I is just... slower than that girl he was talking about. Wow. <laughs> Come on. And I... I... I just now looked inside the the chat. Really? Everyone else playing Monopoly. I can't play I can't pay my No, <laughs> seriously. Oh. Oh, poopy bang Jew cork soaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought there was like a link to something that was edited or something. Like, no. <clears throat> now you found it. Yeah. Jables is not stupid after all. I'm so Don't proud of you. Go that far. Debatable. Well, I thought he posted like I thought he posted like a link to a YouTube video where somebody edited it. Vagu it was sounds just gonna like be a Indian silent dish. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... No, Vagu sounds Italian. Why can't it be Italian and Indian? You know, just have some spaghetti with Italian or with Indian seasonings. Uh, like my like my gumas vagu. I mean, the Italians are disenfranchised enough with the big noses; they don't need the unibrows too. Uh. Oh, but they have. 
Beku is not Beku. <laughs> Are you sure about that, cats and lady? Are you sure? I think I'm that sure depends on hygiene. Oh. I'm sure Ragu is not Vagu. At least for most of the month. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, um oh, what else? Chat's getting wild. Hell yeah, I love it. Chat, right. potential swear words. Let's test this out. I mean everybody likes Coxtucker. That's always a good one. That's one that that's a situational talking. swear word, by the way. Yeah. Talk, so, yeah. talk could be talking about a, a rooster, or mm -hmm. it could be talking about the uh, the massive three foot uh, void of space that I don't have. Yeah. yeah. One of my personal favorites is Ass Clown. I love Ass Clown. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, and only because. When I first heard the term ass clown was actually during boot camp, and that's what I was called my and my entire uh, my entire uh, d d class. Yeah, yeah, we were all ass clowns. We also played clown music if we took too long in the showers. <laughs> <laughs> Gava Goo is clearly the episode name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm trying to Well, it is episode list. 250. Nice. Two hundred and fifty. We've been doing this a while. Is it episode two fifty tonight? Yeah. It says two forty nine because I didn't change it. Yeah, because you never do. Yeah, well, we don't we don't find the title to the end. I'm down. Doesn't change the fact that he doesn't update the fucking numbers. So the numbers are updated, motherfucker. I just did it. So, and by that, I literally mean right after I said I just did it, I hit send. You are <laughs> absolutely yeah. correct, Bar. We've been. I, I wouldn't go so far as to say we've been practicing this show, but it sure is fucking perfect. Oh, no, it's very far from What the perfect. fuck I'm... is perfect? I don't know. Perfect oh, wait, oh, is uh... when you get that taste of the perfect temperature of ice cream. It's not, like, melted, but Shut it's up, still no food. ice cream. At... Shut up! Uh, wait. You asked for perfection! Yeah, and you're trying to start another food conversation, you bitch. <laughs> I'm just simply answering the question. I didn't fucking ask you anything. You liar. You liar. <laughs> that crayon-eating motherfucker over there is the one that asked it. He should keep his fucking mouth shut. Stop it. What do you mean? I didn't ask anything. Yes, you did. You asked what is perfection. Does the N-word oh, count I did, as a didn't swear I? word? Yes. <laughs> 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 I and forgot only... that I forgot that sentence as soon as I said it. It was irrelevant. <laughs> the show is proof practice doesn't make perfect. <laughs> I know, I read that earlier. Yeah. Uh... Tell me if you I know, pay I'm just real thinking about food. No, yeah. I'm just re I'm just reiterating. Alright. You no. Know. But, Bar, you have to admit, the show's gotten better. Practice makes progress. <laughs> God that. damn it, Bar. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Just bundle the sticks together and beat people with them. Oh, you mean like, yeah. what the... <laughs> is that I, I a swear don't know word? That it's, I, I don't know how edgy Bar really is. I know he's smooth on, on top of his head. 
But he's got hair all over the rest of his face, so I can't tell if he's got a, a square jaw or not. Well, he's pretty jacked. <laughs> yeah, it, it's all it's all uh, gently sloping curves. None of it fat <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Well, Barr, by his own admission, is not in the same shape that he used to be in. No, no, he's definitely not. But uh, it's fucking lockdowns. <laughs> You know, I was looking through uh, all my sound bites. A lot of them don't have swear words, surprisingly enough. Really? How do you know. That would require That's Bar it. to have children, which he may very well. He just doesn't know about them. Like I have this one of Jeff. My name is Jeff Holiday. I'm the creator of Kekistan, and I love the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucking love I that have, clip. I have so many questions, but at the same time, I should not be surprised by this. <laughs> oh. Look, all you need to do, Yammy, is jump in the corner and we're all good. Oh no, Bar. That would be terrible. You should absolutely do it. Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. Also, uh, thanks to Jeff Holiday for reminding me. Happy Twin Peaks Day! What the heck? That whole hunt is the Jeff voice. That one time that Jeff comes into Mod Chat, we're all doing that. He's just like, <laughs> what do you motherfuckers do when I'm not here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he would love it. He I know would he would. Tickle pink. Uh, you know what, J uh, you know what, Bar? If we do that, we absolutely should, but if we do that, that's what the uh, the mod cha the mod category is being renamed: the Council of Jeffs. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Um, also, Twin Peaks Day is just basically honoring the day that the uh, how much tourism of the show had brought over to the years from the fans, you know. <sighs> Of the locations where they were scouting for where to actually show Twin Peaks. I'm sorry, were you yeah. talking? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I didn't have dick in my mouth, so yeah, I was talking. <sighs> this is some effed up ass. Yeah. Does that count as swearing? Bar, thanks. I, 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 I have an excuse. I'm sick. Yeah. Yeah. Poor, poor sir. I actually really do feel Cats. bad for you. Oh my fucking Cats. Son. It wasn't. It was awkward silence on purpose. I wanted Yami to sit in that bomb. Oh. Mm. Not that kind of sick, Bart. Although I am that too. <laughs> Actually, I do want that as a challenge, though, for uh, uh, somebody to take an AI and train it on my voice and then get it to say something that I would never say. Uh, how did I give you anything, fucker? You're across the pond. It's a computer virus. You didn't put your condom on, e on your Ethernet cord, man. That's I don't wrong. have an Ethernet <laughs> cord. I use Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, would rif would the Wi-Fi be technically a strap-on then? No, huh. because that's no Wi-Fi means it's airborne. Oh, um. no, no, it, 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 no, it's a, it's an electro wand. That's what the Wi-Fi <laughs> is. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Oh. Sorry, it, it, yeah, the. Damn, Bar. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Viruses threat protection. Wow. I just Bar. got a notification. <laughs> yeah, just hurt my feelings, Bar. That's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bar's just out here to hurt people, like usual. I thought that was just him in general. Yeah, that's why like I said, said like usual. usual. 
So then, why announce it if it's listen. normal? I'm just saying, because why announce it then if it's normal? There who Damn don't it. Get it. Yeah. But that's the joke. Let them find. Let them fuck around and find out. And then we can Never laugh fight. at them when they cry. We can so, laugh at them anyway. Fair enough. Yeah. So you know, in um, like those old movies and TV shows where kids would like sit on each other's shoulders with those really long trench coats and like try to get into R-rated movies or whatever. Yeah. I saw a guy that was about six foot five wearing one of those trench coats. And he was like really scrawny and kind of baby faced. And I had to do a double take to just be like, <laughs> Am I seeing this happen in real life? <laughs> yeah. I almost stopped and be like, You should never wear a coat like that. Because <laughs> you look like three kids stacked up. Yeah. And like, he ends up having like fucking like, um, scoliosis so it constantly looks like he's leaning to one side <laughs> like he's off balance god I'm a terrible person it was so hard for me not to stare because he was walking right at me and I was so confused because <laughs> he was even I wearing like confused. one of those hats he had a scarf on like it looked exactly like that scene from Little Rascals <laughs> oh god now you've gotten me picturing it Yeah. yeah. And I haven't seen Little Rascals in forever. Has anyone actually remade the Little Rascals at all? Not Please since no. that the movie. Remakes these days are shit. Uh, yeah, can we just leave it alone? Yeah, yeah but you by know the way, talk about happen. diversity. Until we get better writers. Yeah, the, the Little Rascals movie was uh was already a remake. Yep. Wait, was it? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, yeah. It's based off a show called Our Gang that was later named Little Rascals, and then they made the movie in the nineties oh. about it. My concern is that, like, if they were to try to remake it, they would make Alfalfa like fucking young Sheldon, and it would be insufferable. Uh, oh uh, yeah, uh, that. All right, no. let's stop talking about this before it spreads anywhere and anybody gets any ideas. Yeah, stop listening to me, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a good idea, and you know it. Well, Rim, she is Jewish. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> What's BBT? Uh, big black testicle? Was I close? Titties? Big Bang Theory. Oh. Oh. Okay. oh. <laughs> well, uh, we can tell none of us saw the show. <laughs> We're not wholesome, Bar. Well, Stop. no, I, I have sinus pressure, so that's kind of defining my focus. I got government no. uh, bribe money, so... Fucking... I'm depositing that before they cancel the check. I've only ever seen Big Bang Theory in passing, and every time I've seen Sheldon on screen, it's just like, where's the nearest flight of stairs? I need to throw this motherfucker down one. Early yeah, Sheldon my... was a lot better than what he became. Yeah. yeah. My my parents used to throw on Big Bang Theory as just, like, background TV. Or laundry TV, as some people call it. You know, something that you just have on. Don't really pay attention to it. Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn, Larry. <laughs> Nine seasons. Of what? I didn't realize Big that Bang. you were a fucking masochist. Big Bang Theory. Seriously? Nine? I kind of do because I, I don't know how much more money that guy can make off of just one show. Let alone a spinoff. Oh, people love the... So, Big Bang Theory is successful because it made people that weren't into nerd shit feel like they were in on the jokes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Correction. You're not. <sighs> what? No. No. Nothing. Oh, man. Larry? Yeah, that's pretty much the show. That's... <laughs> Um, oh, I, I, they I were like... they were playing a Halo in their living room all together on laptops. I like Barr's assessment. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey. Uh, well then, um, I don't know what to say to that. But I'm just going to quietly <laughs> nod. Digital nerd, Digital face. nerd face. That's fucking great, Larry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it was. Yeah, yeah. And I mean... Granted, like... <laughs> yeah. I'm one of those people that only has cursory knowledge. But, like, I hang out with the actual communities. And at least I'm honest about it. Hmm. Yeah. I'm really into these things. I know a little bit about these other things, but that's more just develop knowledge from hanging out with people that actually know them. Oh, man, Bar, if you had heard the conversation we had before the show started. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No comment. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, there, there's a... We could have a feminist discussion about coercion with that whole relationship. I don't really want to. I feel uncomfortable. I'm not saying we should. I'm just saying we could. Yeah, <laughs> and we won't. Uh, I love how you guys know so much about Big Bang Theory. I, <laughs> I, <hear it> on... <laughs> I know little to nothing. Like, I've seen a few clips of it, like the beginning and the last episode. That was oh, it. Go on YouTube and watch it without a laugh track. Weird That's Science great. is a classic, though, Larry. Yeah. Stay away from Weird Science. That should be protected at all costs. Oh, with all this AI shit, they're probably going to try to remake Weird Science. Oh, no. Damn, Katz really hates Leonard. Hold on. Don't blame her. Yeah, I like the, <laughs> I liked the guy that played Leonard better when he played David on Roseanne. Holy shit, that is the same guy. Man, time was not kind to him. <laughs> he just got fatter. That's it. <laughs> Looks almost exactly the same. Yeah, he gained weight. Like, he gained all the weight that Roseanne lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Larry, you would say that. Um... Oh, it's some other shit we can talk about. There's a... Oh. I saw this article that was posted. Um, literally two days ago. About a plot hole in Harry Potter. Oh, no. Uh, the J.K. Rowling cleared up like 15 years ago. I have a problem with that. You're, no, you're writing an article for witch. nothing. You know, you we can't give the Wicked Witch any credit. Well, no, no, they gave her credit. They were just like, it, it was the uh, it was a plot hole about how Harry couldn't see the Thestrals at the end of the fourth movie after he saw after the fourth book or and or movie. 
But he didn't exactly see... Um, wasn't it because he didn't exactly see the death right away because it was just blinding light? Well, no, because no, he saw the death, but it was uh, like you have to process the death first. Oh, like, yeah, have full recognition. That... Like he was still kind of in shock. That's why he wasn't able to see the death. Not until they, the fifth year. They like we're yeah. holding you hostage, Larry. You know how to leave the stream. Why, Larry? Are you anti-turf? Are you so oh that God. much against J.K. Rowling? <laughs> oh fuck! Uh. Oh, my sinuses. We'll skip Harry. We'll skip talking about Harry Potter. They're trying to cast uh, Daniel Radcliffe as Wol- Wolverine. I don't know how I feel about that. I. I, I... Yeah, but still, I. Uh... Mm-hmm. I don't know if he can do the voice. I no. But he's I a, don't, he's a he's, he's I've a seen brilliant him in actor. A lot of other stuff. He's a really competent actor. Yeah, he's really good. But I just I don't know. That's yeah. kind of a big role to fill. Yeah, that's yeah. There's not <laughs> enough steroids. There, there's enough steroids, Bar. There's clearly enough <laughs> steroids in Hollywood. Just look at the transformations motherfuckers go through between film roles. Look at but, Camille Nanjiani. Lady, come on. I, I grew up with it, okay? Of course I'm gonna have a crush on Daniel Radcliffe. We're basically the same age. Yeah, like, yeah we, were, the... we were talking about this before the show. I the re I before you two popped in, Rimshi and I were talking about it. Mm-hmm. The reason why I'm so into Harry Potter is because I was the absolute target demographic. That's, same here. That's why. That and yeah. it, it was Br- my Br- escape Br- from broken home so for anybody that wants to say it's like oh yeah they, they, they don't use stereo as hollywood it's like yeah explain how fucking um christian bale went from machinist to in shape for batman begins in six months yeah mm. yeah that's a christian bale's really dedicated he needs yeah, to stop he, doing that shit, though. He really needs <laughs> to stop. He really needs to stop. Because he got extra... Because he even <clears throat> went, like, super fat when he played Dick Cheney. Yeah, he intentionally became overweight. It was just like, you, you gotta stop, dude. <laughs> I feel like all this, like, extreme body modifications or something like that... I, it's just... That's gotta hurt him in a way, doesn't it? Oh, it's extremely unhealthy. I do admire the dedication, though. Oof. Anal! Hi, Biotech. Anal. <clears throat> I still want to know the origin story of that. What? Anal? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Cyber transplants. <laughs> well. Oh, no, he can grow a full beard. He's fine. Yeah, I mean, I've seen him with a full beard. He actually looks pretty decent. Beards and sideburns are not the same thing. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, whatever. Sideburns are just beards that are shaved up to a side beard. I think where he's going to get fucked is the the voice. Yeah. Yeah. It's... He, I don't, I don't he's a great Daniel actor, can... but his voice is just... It's not Wolverine. It doesn't have that deepness that it needs. If it wasn't for the fact that he's also starting to get a little bit older, I'd, I'd try Carl Urban for it. Yeah, Ooh. Carl oh, Urban could... Yeah, that would be an interesting choice for Wolverine. I mean, he he did pretty good as uh, Armitage, Bones that's another, and that's another choice there, Bar. Ooh, and Dread. Richard Armitage. Wait, Carl, who already voiced Logan? Apparently, Richard Armitage has for a animated movie. Oh, <laughs> well then, there you go. <laughs> Bar will just dub the Wolverine voice. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I, I 
I, I know where he's from. Those movies suck. Well, because Daniel Radcliffe is really devoted to acting. Oh yeah, and I'd Broadway like shows. To... He's really, I'd... really good. Yeah, I'd like to see him attempt. I'd like to see his attempt. Doesn't mean he has to get it. I would just like to see like an audition for it. Oh, kind of like yeah. how they showed. Um... Oh my god. I'm blanking on their their names now. Thor and Loki, where they switched the roles, basically, where yeah. Tom Hiddleston got Loki instead of Thor. They they showed his audition tapes, and I could see why. You mean Tom Hiddleston got Thor instead of Loki? Because no, Tom, Tom Hiddleston played no. Loki. Yeah, Tom Hiddleston originally auditioned for Thor, but he got Loki instead. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's actual, like, it's on YouTube. There's actual clips of him auditioning and with hey, the, the no, Thor no, 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 and no, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Y2K, like, they've been making Tom Cruise look taller than he is for fucking years. They can make dudes look shorter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I mean, if you're able to make well, the easy, Hobbit it is smaller, to make somebody taller than it is to make somebody shorter. But yeah. well, yeah, but still doable. It just takes a lot of a yeah, lot of Wolver effort. So, cats, when you say tall is good, canonically, Wolverine is like five four. Yeah, he's not a big dude. He's big, wide. He's muscular and shit, but he's got little man syndrome. Yeah. He it, it, it kind of ties it to his uh, his naming scheme, actually. <laughs> Tom Cruise aren't is big critters, four. but they'll Peter fucking Dinklage destroy you. Yeah. Look, you got two types of short, tough guy. You've got the uh, the tap out wrestler dude, who's, I mean, generally they're worthless. One one in a hundred, or one in a thousand, will actually be able to kick your ass. But it's all bark, no bite for the most part. And then you've got the ones who are just like, yeah, I'm sure I don't give a fuck. Usually those those ones yeah. can be pretty scary. <laughs> my my, <clears throat> my grandfather on my dad's side, he was never taller than 5'7 his whole life. But he was an incredibly wiry little fucker. You did not want him to hit you. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, when it, when it comes to people under 5'8", When it comes to dudes under 5'8", you really got to start assessing body length and shit. Figure out who they are. Like, what type of person are you? All right. How comfortable are they with with the situation? How how comfortable do they look? How do they hold yeah. themselves? My dad told me a story about my grandpa once. He said that um, a guy showed up at the house and picked a fight with uh, my dad's uh, older brother, Mitch. And he, like, threw him to the ground and, like, Mitch hit his head and it knocked him out. And the guy went to wail on him while he was down. My grandpa come out of the house and, like, with one arm, like, grabbed him by the back of his shirt and, like, physically threw him into a car door a few feet away. He's just like, you know, get the fuck out of here. And while he's bent over, like, he's crouched, like, checking on my uncle, some dude comes out of nowhere... My dad says he still has no idea who the fuck he was, but he rabbit punches my grandfather in the back of the head while he's down. My dad said that my grandfather spun on his heel and from a crouched position punched upward so hard into this dude's mouth that his feet came off the ground. <laughs> and he yeah, fucking ran me. away. He ran away holding his mouth, and my dad said my grandpa was just pulling pieces of that dude's teeth out of his knuckles for the next five minutes. <laughs> no. There's only one short, scrawny guy that I could trust. Shout out to Christian. Not going to give his last name. Uh, <laughs> I would be insulted he, he was, if he I was, was small. Him. He was small because he had a bone disease. He broke his arm doing push-ups. Um, yeah. Cool dude, though. Got really into guns. 
I wonder why. <laughs> then again, he broke his arm doing a push-up. That may not be the best combo. Yeah. Yeah, fires a 12-gauge and it just completely <laughs> dislocates his shoulder. Dislocates. It also cracks his collarbone and makes and makes some questionable movements with his uh, scapula. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, just watch out for little wiry dudes, man. <laughs> they they yeah. can fuck you up. Larry, Harry Potter with guns is fucking hilarious. One of the best <laughs> videos on the internet. <laughs> so th there's this one uh, it's like a TikTok video that's going around but it's like Harry Potter and GTA <laughs> oh, <laughs> and yeah. it just says the new legacy game looks fantastic and it's just yeah, Harry it's doing fly by GTA shooting so that they're Harry Potter and they're riding around on a broom and shit and just shooting things up <laughs> <laughs> I mean like if, you, if you're going around on a broom and you could just like rapid fire killing curses you're the most gang banging devastating motherfucker in LA uh, it, it, it's fantastic ah oh, I love it what is a bullet but a muggle killing curse <laughs> <laughs> it's the permanent version of an ava da gaba wow you said that all sorts of wrong I know, it's been a while. <laughs> it sounded like you were trying to say avocado. Ottawa, <laughs> Ottawa, I can't. No, nope, can't do it. Thank you. Gonna leave it to no, the experts. No, 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 Bar, it should be Harry Potter and the Projects of Compton. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So... I don't know why, but I felt a little nostalgic, and I started listening to the ballad of Angry Mictow. And the Hava <laughs> Nagila <laughs> Hava. And it got to the part where he's like, "Have you ever been to Compton? No, and I never plan to go in there." He goes, "Son, how the fuck do you know?" Yeah. Ah. Uh. Because I read. <laughs> <laughs> I've read Tupac's entire biography. <laughs> I've picked up a newspaper before. <laughs> uh, so when you said Compton, internet. that just instantly made me think of that. Yeah, that it's a... like, uh, hmm? hey, why won't you go to this bar in White Center? <laughs> I have the Citizen app. I'm not going to a bar in White Center. <laughs> like, can't make me. You might convince me on like maybe like a Sunday afternoon. Those are good days, but Friday night, no. Bar. So many black people are into Harry Potter. You'd be surprised. Well, yeah, I'm not surprised, but at the same time, kind of. It, it, it it's interesting. On you don't really think of who's actually into Harry Potter until you actually talk about it, and then they're like, "Oh yeah," and kind of throws you off guard a little. Well, yeah. You you also have to take into account they might not be into Harry Ooh. Potter, but they might know someone who's into Harry Potter. Mm hmm God damn, Larry. Yeah, just because I'm a Grand Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Although, speaking of the Grammys, Bonnie Raitt brought home three this year. Really happy for her. She deserved it. <laughs> no idea who that is. Long time female rock artist. Mm. Cool. Nice. Well, congrats. It's always great to hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bart, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you would have said more fire cross, less fire bolt. No, no, Bart. I hate Bonnie you. Rate. 
That woman is she is a slide guitar playing fiend. <laughs> Hell of a voice too. Listen. Oh, is that? Wait, Bonnie Wright did turn around. No, that that was Bonnie Tyler, and she, and that's always called a uh, total eclipse of the heart, which she didn't yeah. write. Uh, I okay. think Jim Steinman wrote that song. Actually, the same guy that wrote all of Meatloaf's songs. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not into the whole music thing. Yeah, Bon. Bonnie Raitt, one of her most recognized songs is probably um, "Let's Give Him Something to Talk About." Oh, I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell by the video clip. Yeah. Yeah. So when I was uh when I was in high school, like all of my friends were were chicks. And my parents were going away for the weekend. They said can't have any girls over. You can Why? have friends over, but you can't have any girls over. I'm like all of my friends are girls, Robin. Yeah, so what, what am I supposed <laughs> like, to do? Yeah, uh, they're like, well, we don't want anybody else to think anything. And then I just I just clap back with, well, you raised me not to care what other people think. Why are you caring right now? We're not having sex. <laughs> Listen here, you're my shit. friend. <laughs> <laughs> and my, my parents were like, okay, you can have these ones. It's like... All right. Cool. These are my hookups. <laughs> yeah, th those are the ones I am fucking. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, it's like. Yeah. Good times to be had. <laughs> yeah. Those were good times. Mm. What the fuck did you post, Rinchy? This is truck. Oh, okay. With the clearly visible snow in my bed. <laughs> hmm. That's not cocaine. You wish it was cocaine. No, I no, don't, doesn't. because then I wouldn't be able to sell it. It would be out of the packaging. Put it in the packaging. Oh, pa you can still I sell it. Don't worry. Yeah. No, <laughs> he, he has not to worry. Not to my standards. He has to okay. worry about attracting the bears. Oh, God. Okay. I I, I have to talk about... more hype than anything. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind yeah. of interested to know if it's actually... You know... Worth oh, it? oh wait no time time out real quick. Bar, I'm not reminiscing about high school. I'm, I'm telling a story about a time when I was in high school. There's a difference. Yeah. I'm not saying, oh, it was the best time. I had all these chicks around me. It was fucking great. It was uh, the blah, best blah, of blah, times. Blah, blah. It it's was like, the worst was, of times. It was. I was just telling. I was just telling a little story. Yeah, and, like, unless, well, unless you were on one of like the varsity teams or something, most people do not look fondly on high school here in the states. <laughs> yeah, I was telling them. I was just telling the story about that time when, like, I wasn't allowed to have friends <clears throat> over because they were females, and my parents were pretty crude. <laughs> very Christian. <laughs> that's that's very different than reminiscing about high school. Also, Larry, where did they all go? Uh, most of them are married with kids now. So he still gets in the back door sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but when it comes to other movies involving um, characters that are bears, I guess according to uh, Critical, the uh, Pooh Bear horror movie is dog shit. I heard yeah, it was I'm horrible. Anyway. Like, why? Why not? I mean, 
It's just like why Walk it with a group of friends, have some fun with it. Well, I you watch shitty like, movies all the do, time. If you weren't gonna do anything interesting with it, then why did you even bother? Yeah. What a movie about bears that I'm excited for is they're making a movie about cocaine bear. Yeah, we were just kind of talking about that. Oh, sorry. I was, I was distracted about my rebuttal to fucking bar. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, the movie came out and apparently it's, uh. Eh. Oh. Well, well that wasn't... explains a lot about you, Bar. Do you know what the real story about Cocaine Bear is? Uh, yeah. The bear found cocaine. Bear did all the cocaine. Bear died. <laughs> bear That's died it. after running like a goddamn... <laughs> That, that bear was experiencing something fantastic for the next 30 seconds of its life. Yeah. It lived longer than that, but... Obviously, the movie is heavily dramatized. Oh, heavily. I do kind of sure. have to wonder exactly what happens if a bear is on cocaine. Like, for real. Well, okay. okay Are you so, talking about um, a, an appropriate amount for its weight? I... Like a little over the amount of its weight okay so then it dies <laughs> i've said I, I, i've said this many times in the past you know, like you know cocaine notwithstanding bears are furry tanks don't fuck with bears yeah 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 so so a cocaine high lasts anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes Okay. Just off of like a bump or a line or something like that. This bear did all of the cocaine. <laughs> so it didn't it didn't really go anywhere. Oh. <laughs> it, it was like this is awesome and then it probably walked off for a little bit and was like, "Hey, I want some more of that." And then no, apparently yeah. it, it ate the entire goddamn thing and then died about a hundred yards away. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, it ate the whole thing in one sitting because when they autopsied the bear, they found all the cocaine in its gut. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Yogi Montana. <laughs> now I'm thinking of uh, Yogi Bear. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably the I, point. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that Y two K. Oh, I, I only do cocaine so I can drink more. Yeah, it's very different. <laughs> I do it responsibly. <laughs> How yeah, do and I haven't do... done it for like a year, so... Wait, how do you do cocaine responsibly? It's still cocaine! Very carefully. Yeah. You buy enough just for the night. <clears throat> still overdose if it's just for the night. Huh? You could still overdose on cocaine. No, it takes, a lot. It, the... takes a, it takes a lot more than that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people that overdose on cocaine are doing it constantly throughout the day for, like, a week. Oh. Yeah. And even or, then, it's not usually... Eating... <laughs> or they're a bear, and they eat an entire duffel bag full. Yeah. 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 Basically, like, you would have to either take so much in one sitting that it causes your heart to destroy itself. But yeah. most of the time, it's people just have... Massive heart attacks after doing it regularly for years. For years, like, or they they could do they could do way too much one night and have a heart attack if they were already prone to heart attacks. Let's just say um, that Billy May's OxyClean wasn't the only white powder that he was really into. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Billy May's here. <laughs> well, at least well, he's not into your nuts. 
Uh, yeah. Well, you can't you can't deliver shit like that. Billy Mays here with OxyClean. <laughs> like, <laughs> hi, Billy Mays here, and I'm having a massive heart attack. <laughs> Uh, Hi, Billy Mays here, and I just want to tell you how great this fucking product is. God, that dude used to be the bane of fucking insomniacs everywhere for years. And yet also... Oh, no, not even insomniacs. Thing. Just falling asleep on the couch, watching, like, mm -hmm. he was the TV the worst or something. And, and then the, the infomercial, the infomercial yeah. comes on, and it's just, Hey, Billy Mays here, and it's like, it's like Son of a bitch! Woke me up. <laughs> But Rimshi's right. He is the worst, but the best. Like, when you think of those type of commercials, you don't think of anything else. I don't know who the fuck the sham wow guy was, but I always prefer he Billy Mays. He killed a hooker. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, he yeah. didn't. Sorry, he beat the shit out of a hooker. No, the hooker beat his ass. No, no, because he went to prison for it. Pretty yeah, sure he went to prison for being a John, not for getting beaten up by a hooker. I... I'm still trying to process the fact of hooker and sham wow guy. Alright, what is this better? Prostitute. No, no, he, he was arrested <laughs> for repeatedly punching a Florida prostitute after she bit his tongue. Repeatedly? <laughs> I bet those were feather blows. <laughs> His full force, but feather blows. <laughs> yeah. And then you had the other guy who like collaborated with Billy Mays. Fuck was his name? Anthony Sullivan. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of took over after Billy Mays died. He was not nearly as charismatic. <laughs> no. She wasn't no, dead. He, he was like he was he was too posh and had that accent. She was still alive, therefore not not a hooker. Fucking, fucking Billy Mays looked like somebody who, like, he looked like somebody who didn't quite oh, make yeah. the audition the for the fucking... brawny man, so they put him in a press shirt and had him sell home cleaning products. <laughs> you know what? The, the, the flex tape guy is a wannabe Billy Mays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That guy, though. He, he's a, well, he's a non-coke Billy Mays. That's all he's doing. That's a lot I'd, of I'd much rather have Billy Mays. I'd much rather lit, watch Billy Mays than the the flex tape guy, because well, Billy just... Mays is dead. I know. Me sad. It really does. Shout out to Billy Mays. Rest in peace. Hell yeah. yeah. Gone too Rest soon. Rest in pizza. Can you imagine Billy Mays's flex tape ads? Oh God. <laughs> oh That's no! Why I bar was still alive. Bar, bar. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mission for you. No, oh no! If you're willing to accept it, Billy Mays doing flex tape commercials. Who's Jonathan Frakes? Jonathan. Uh, That's the guy that played number two. Yeah. Oh, William yes. Riker. Riker. Yeah. Jonathan Frakes is fucking great. He's even I keep forgetting that that's his old, name. I just think great. of him as Riker. <laughs> yeah, because that's I, all you ever really which, see him in. <laughs> surprisingly, have you ever lost enough, your bike in a park? <laughs> from from everything I've been from everything I've been hearing, like Picard season three actually did a huge course correction. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but people are questioning if it's if it's the savior of the series or too little, too late. So. Oh, it's definitely know. too little, too late. But the fact is, like, wait. Season three of Picard is good. Yeah. What? I do to admit I do kind of agree with Jeff though when it says it's so fucking dark. Like I, I can't see shit. Everything yeah, is so dark. It's like, it's Why like, is it so dark? dark? Well, like as Critical Drinker says, like what the fuck? How expensive are light bulbs in the twenty fourth century? <laughs> yeah. How how bad is it that? Uh, as crap as especially the later ones are but the uh the kelvin timeline uh video uh, movies are at least mm -hmm. they're very fucking bright 
Well, yeah, the fucking bridge of the Enterprise looks like a fucking Apple store. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, lens flare, lens and flare. The engineering section lens is uh, Samuel Adams Brewery, which but, makes but sense. But maybe they were bright because they wanted to be as bright as the future. Shut up. Yami, then why they so take away your so role? Grim dark. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Why does everyone hate me? You make it very easy, to be fair. To yeah. hate? Or to just make fun of? To make fun of. Okay, fair enough. Because I was going to yeah, say well, just you. You notice we make fun of each other all the time, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Just check yeah. it. Because yeah. sometimes people can feel singled out. And it's like, no. Nah. Yeah, we're not singling you out, Tits McGee. Yeah. I'm contractually <laughs> obligated to slap Jables around at least once every week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is in his contract. There's a con what? There's a contract? You're not a showrunner. You're a regular guest that just happens to pop in. <laughs> and we're not giving you the role either. We've already got four, technically. Yeah. Even though Larry never comes on the, on the fucking bottom. show. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just got suddenly put on the bottom. Why am I on the bottom? <laughs> oh, someone changed your name. Look at that. What? Larry, What's my Larry? name now? Okay. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. I, I, all right, Larry, I, I, I don't hate Crab. I don't like Crab. I don't hate him. <laughs> that would require more energy on my part. Yeah. No, Yami is, is always a bottom. Aww. I, I I like, yeah, I I like crab. It's just I mean, sometimes been, I don't want to deal with crab. He's been good for some content over the years. But yeah, like crab's main problem is he just he goes too hard on the edgy boy shit. Like, dude, come on. Yeah, like that one time when he just straight up told him. Uh, Purely racist joke. <laughs> and I had to call him out and be like, dude, no. <laughs> That's... Not on Twitch, anyways. Private, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not where people can hear us, motherfucker. So, like, yeah. Th th there's a certain art to being edgy, and Crab just tries too hard. Hey. Yeah. I can't be edgy, even if I tried. I I can't. Well, I can get well maybe it's one them curves, the, the, the Yami. That's why you curve. can't be edgy. Too many curves. Oh, yeah. There's and all that. the right places, or whatever. Yay! <laughs> well, I think of it like a. Uh, there's a comedian. <laughs> Put Nate. the racist shit behind a paywall. Bar don't get people's <laughs> ideas. Bar. Uh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Extremely bad, bad idea. idea. That sounds like a money maker. It sounds like a money maker, but it's gonna leak out and it's gonna get bad. Cause, <laughs> like I said earlier, try to make an AI bot say something that I wouldn't say. Oh and... man! If we had a paywall, I if we had a paywall, I'd be talking about Fabergé eggs all the fucking time. But mm. actually, show my tits. Not to Jables. Well, no. We'll just put sunglasses over him so he can't see it. Now show him empty. Yeah. <laughs> Hold me on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Hold me on. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but Yavi, it's okay that you that you can't be edgy. There, there's a comedian, Nate Bargatze. He's a clean comedian, mm -hmm. but he's friends with like all these dirty comedians that are like really, really dirty, like worse hey. than me. Hey, sometimes uh, the old Gilbert shit Godfrey is the used clean to be. Shit. And uh, he he was talking on a podcast one time when he, somebody was asking about why he hangs out with those guys. He's like, "Yeah, I just oh. like hanging out with them," and I 
like my comedy's clean because my brain just doesn't work like that. That's just not the type of jokes I think of. And that's it. That's all that matters. Damn it, Barr, don't make me think of Alan Rickman. Oh. Alan Rickman. R.I.P. and pepperonis. Mm-hmm. That guy was a real one. He's the best. Has anyone here seen Quigley Down Under? Mm-hmm. Mm, actually, I no, I have not. Oh, you should you know totally what? see that, Yanni. Yeah. Mean, it's like a western set in Australia. It's got Tom Selleck and Alan Rickman's the bad guy. Ooh, now I have to see it. You know what? I, I could see uh, on a pay-per-view show, um, or, or a paywall show, people going, Why aren't you restraining Jables? Because he's off the leash. You paid for this shit. Now bask in it. <laughs> now wallow heathen. in it, motherfuckers. <laughs> Y2K, the Jables Boogly old timey racist tower. <laughs> Instead of a donkey show, you get a Jable show. Interesting. <clears throat> really? I actually didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, putting, unleashing me behind a paywall is probably not a good idea. Huh. <laughs> not long term. <laughs> no. No. I have a, I have a really hard time staying within, like, Twitch's terms of service. Uh, um. Uh... Gotcha. Yeah, that, that fucking and sharp if you if you too. saw some of the podcasts that I kind of and some of the comedians that I really like, <clears throat> you'd uh, you'd see why pretty quick. Bar knows. <sighs> yeah, Bar. What do you think? Put me behind a paywall where I can say where. Whatever the fuck I want. Based on, like, all the people I sort of idolize. You all. It's going to be bad, Bar. You know what's going to happen. Bar is voting. I know chaos. what's going to happen, Jables. I mean, it could be fun. I mean, what could possibly it's... go wrong? It's a bad idea long-term, Yammy. Famous last words, Yammy. <laughs> Meant to want to see the world burn. You know what? I don't know why people. this popped into my head, but there's this YouTuber called Yammy Noob, who, irrelevant to the point, but he does Tangerine. motorcycle content. And immediately pop what popped into my head was yammy boobs. Yeah. I mean. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants a quick laugh, go on YouTube and look up Alfred Tangerine. It's funny shit. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, it, it, it it's an edited clip of Batman Begins. No, it's a oh. Dark Knight, actually. It's an edited clip of Alfred talking to Bruce about the Joker. You know, the whole speech, you know, like, some men just want to watch the world burn. Mm hmm Except they edited it to him saying tangerine multiple times. Okay. Oh, God. Because there's, like, a... He said he saw a child playing with, like, a... I think it was, like, an emerald or a ruby the size of a tangerine. It, it's funny, trust me. <laughs> but it's say it's funny trust me i don't trust that person you motherfuckers are gonna <laughs> <your> <laughs> i'm sorry patrick stewart swearing and holding a gun and shooting <laughs> you <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> i love patrick stewart you i swear to god the principle of gun I used to have a lot more respect for Patrick Stewart before he did Picard. Uh, that's yeah. why I don't watch Picard. 
Yeah, that, that, well, it, I it seems like the, it seems like the director of season three is like, yeah, that uh, control that you were giving over your character, uh, I'm kind of reeling that back. <laughs> it's like take, it's well, like it's been so his long since away. he played the character, and then he went Just back into forgot. it. Just forgot. I said, like, from everything I've heard about Picard season three, it's like people said, you know, it's a Star Trek show. They do Star Trek things. Good. And I'm like, wow. Really? And apparently, there's a lot of like ref, like whoever wrote this, like really knows Trek. Like, there's references from <laughs> novels that people would probably never get unless they've actually read them. Yeah. Yeah. My parents would probably, my parents <clears throat> are probably loving the show then, because my parents knew how to speak Klingon. Really? A little <laughs> bit. They weren't fluent. And like. Like critical drinker was saying, I'm going to go use the restroom. I'll be right back. Like critical drinker was saying, it's like you know, like Picard actually, you know, like like stands up for himself in this season and like challenges people on their shit and like, holy fuck, like he used to do. Wait, he wasn't he wasn't standing up to people in the previous seasons? Oh hell no! Especially in season one, he just sat around. He sat around sad, crying, and fucking apologizing for everything. Yeah. First that, two seasons that, of Picard no, that's are really, fucked up. Really that's bad. not Picard. That's Yeah, he's he's just a sad, lonely old man that stays at his vineyard. That's why people claim that it's uh Kelvin timeline and not a uh, main timeline, which fine. Sure. No, but that's no. It's not appropriate. No, not it's for, not. not. We've had this prime, conversation before. But... Not for prime timeline, Picard. No, it's not appropriate. Alternate reality version of Picard. Eh, it could be. Who knows? We don't know that version. It's his brother was the grumpy old man on the vineyard. Like it's, what did his brother do? Yeah, it's like Picard did go back to his vineyard briefly after he was partially assimilated by the Borg. But after he found some clarity, he's just like, OK, back to space. Uh, well, to be fair, if you uh, especially given the season finale of uh, or series finale of uh, G uh, TNG, he does eventually end up back at the vineyard. But there's a yeah, huge and that's difference fine. between that's, that's his there's retirement. A, yeah, that's there's okay. a huge difference between I'm retiring to the vineyard and it's a hobby, but I like doing it. It's calming and it keeps me active versus I'm retiring to the vineyard because I'm grumpy and shit went wrong. Yeah, and I'm just going to yes. grump and mope and be a bitch. Yeah, it's just like, you know, it's like, oh, shit went bad with um, fucking uh, Romulus exploding. And Picard just kind of gave up and sat around being sad for a few years. It's just like, well, that's okay. Uh, he's allowed no. to be sad for a little bit. Like, you know, he's got to he's got to process some shit. Yeah, th but there's a different. Even within that, there's a difference between I'm processing and I'm just mopey and a bitch. Because that's what but it was, can't... mopey and a bitch. Yeah, Picard has yeah. always been. <clears throat> surprisingly empathetic for how like logical he's always been for how stoic and logical yeah fairly empathetic yeah. Yeah, also like like uh, like uh the picard day <clears throat> episode one of my favorite episodes because it it, also, it shows say, how he I, like digs into his empathy a bit more. it's it still happens in season three just because it has so much baggage from the previous two seasons unfortunately but I still don't care for F-bombs in my Star Trek. It just seems really out of place. I will say, anything with uh, DeLance, best. He was Oh, you, 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 you really wouldn't like season two of that. <laughs> Why? What, well, here, I thought... here's, the th here's one thing I'll say. F-bombs in Star Trek, yeah, generally they'd feel out of place, but uh, I don't know. They... If you do a Star Trek more akin to DS9, I don't think it would feel out of place. Well, yeah, but 
that yeah, was Deep they're Space virtually Nine. pirates. That's <coughs> but like like I will admit, like one of my favorite um, scenes in uh, Next Generation period Star Trek is from Generations, where um, the uh, primary hull of the not the primary the engineering hull of the Enterprise D explodes and it knocks out the impulse engines on the primary hull. And you see Data look through the view screen and realize that they're going to hit the planet. And he's just like, oh, shit. <laughs> um, yeah, Bar said I want to see Samuel L. Jackson as a starship captain. Then That, uh, th that would be more beautiful. suited for something like the Orville. I was <laughs> just thinking yeah. the Orville, and now I <laughs> want to see that. <laughs> yeah. Like, holy fuck do I want to see that. <laughs> it would be amazing. Yeah, yeah something like, that's we, track that's <clears throat> track like but comedic. Yeah, it really it's really like like we're more up. open to the comedic. What's up, more motherfuckers? Answer my fucking video call. <laughs> <laughs> it's like on screen, motherfucker. On Sam motherfucking screen. Actually, you wait, wait. <laughs> Samuel Jackson as an admiral or a captain? Admiral. Fucker deserves it. <laughs> Definitely Admiral. <laughs> admiral. Yeah, I have to agree. We were saying Captain, but I think Admiral. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, it's like, you know, Jackson. We, we don't really need Samuel L. Jackson in Trek because just of the sheer energy of Avery Brooks for Deep Space Nine. But... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. His very first episode, he punches Q in the face. <laughs> Did he? I, I think so. I knew it was in one of the first few ones. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, they're in a boxing ring, and he fucking punches him in the face, and Q's like, Picard never hit me. It's like, that's I'm not right. Picard. I vaguely remember that. Oh, man. Samuel L. Jackson as an admiral would just sound a lot like this. Machine, motherfucker! Rad tat tat! <laughs> <laughs> Talking about his starship. This thing is a machine! <laughs> <laughs> he would thrive so well, much better than what he did in Star Wars hands down well yeah he uh, um, actually you know what I can't even say that because there's a good chance he would lose his hand purely for the comedic aspect oof I did not see that until just now yeah. damn bar ice uh oh where what, what? Also, if they wanted to do a current day storyline, they should have made a Ferengi be the Federation president. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, Jesus. yeah, I don't want to get into that. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, tugs on collar. I said, I like it. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's it, it's too much. Like it. The, give us a couple, couple more years. Hmm. Let's wait until after just, 2024. I want to see Samuel <laughs> Jackson on the Orville as an admiral. Yeah. What? What's the reason he... he I, I feel like he'd have to be a somewhat <clears throat> uh, important part of the storyline for that episode. But it... it yeah, well... It, well it uh, doesn't need he, a reason. It has he was to always good about bringing uh, admirals in. You know? Yeah, it could just be for an um, an important inspection, or the captain needs to learn a lesson, yeah, just, or I don't know. Yeah, just checking out. Uh, we have some plans in place. We need to talk to you in private about these. You know. So we're gonna yeah. send you one of our best and brightest, Amul or er, Admiral Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, the admiral that knows the whole plan. <laughs> it's like, all right, you need to redirect. So so blah blah blah. Or yeah, it, it, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter no, much. no. Captain gets court martialed, and the admiral is the one who has to do like play as part of the judge. 
Well, is he the judge? Yes. Is he the the defense counsel or is he the prosecutor? Prosecutor. No, no, no. no I want No, I want <clears throat> Samuel L. Jackson on the defense. Really? Yeah. Why the defense? I, because I don't want to Why? see Samuel Jackson lose for one. Okay, fair enough. Bar, then At you least put not Spanks on the starship. Bar, that's a terrible way to refer to Cardassians. Anybody that huh? anybody that gives one of the whitest people on the planet the N-word pass should never lose. Yeah. The card no. <laughs> not no, no, we're not putting snakes on starships. Cardassians. The the race, not the people. <clears throat> I mean, no, wait. Um <laughs> the, uh, I'm clipping the that. The alien race, <laughs> not the alien invaders. <laughs> there we go, thank you. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you fucked yourself hard on that, Yami. What? I'm the one that was coughing. You can never be a good comedian. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was I that? Had... I forgot to say that Dina was here. Hi, Dina. Hi, hey, Dina. Dina. Make it trouble with triples but snakes. <laughs> Nah, if you want to turn it into a real horror show, you replace the triples with Furbies, then no one will ever sleep again. <laughs> no. I already don't want to sleep now. <laughs> God damn it, sir. Well, I used to live with my grandma. She had one sitting on one of the shelves across from the couch I used to sleep on. I eventually had to close its eyes after like the second night because I couldn't take it staring at me anymore. <laughs> First Dang. off, I have questions. What's your grandmother doing with a goddamn Furby? I have no idea. <laughs> Just something she held on to over the years. <laughs> Fucking demonic possession. Yeah, my sister had a Furby for like two weeks. And then she put it in her closet. And they would still talk every now and then. And then <laughs> no. she smashed it with a hammer. Part. No, no. My <laughs> cut. No. I slept over, um, this was back when the Furbies were, like, still all the raid and everything. My younger cousin had one in her bedroom, but she got annoyed with it, so she took the fucking batteries out. It still talked. Yeah, because well, yeah, they have that backup watch battery. Yeah, yeah. It creeped the shit out of us. She threw it out the window. Uh, never like heard of it since. Me and my cousin took one that we found, like, out into, like, the woods behind his house. And we started smashing it with a brick. And then it started talking. And it's like, fuck! Fuck this! Go we're leaving! I swear, yeah. those things are, like, worse than Ouija boards. They're <clears throat> awful. Oh yeah, there are vessels but... for de demonic mm -hmm. possession. I don't even believe in demons. Mm-hmm. Bar, Bar, you're right. Not the only closeted thing in the Boogly household. My sister <laughs> is still closeted. <laughs> I'm open. <laughs> I came out. My sister is still closeted. Hey, Gabby, are you afraid of dolls? A bit. Why? Watch Megan. Fuck off. No. <laughs> Watch Annabelle. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Luigi board. Sanguine. <laughs> My linguini right. spallini. Oh, well, it's getting I, near time to Yeah, I think. Break. Yeah, I think we're winding down a bit. I think we're Thank just. You I, feel, I feel like shit. Ugh. Sir, Holy fuck, Skull soon. is here. Baby needs to you should go to bed. Don't stay up so late if you're tired. Yeah, sleep is important. Yeah, hmm. Thanks for watching all the same, though, Skull. 
Good night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I appreciate uh, it. We all appreciate it. God, Thank I you, everybody else. Just for a cold. Us. It's been a uh, been an episode. It's, yeah. Yeah. Um. What are, what are we naming this episode again? Uh. Wait. Hold on. I, I, I forgot I have a I have a Samuel L. Jackson Skull stick Uh-oh. around for a minute Thank you Larry You're cozy and warm in your bed my dear Please go the fuck to sleep <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty good but I really like Barr's version yeah. Really? Bar has a version? Yeah, we had Bar read the book one time. Aww. <clears throat> Bother Io about it. Yeah. Or don't. Or do. I don't actually care. Yeah. Yeah, I did a cover of it for a birthday present. Yeah. Yep. Um. Yeah, thank you everybody for joining us. Join us next week. Same time, same place. Who um, knows? We might have more well. surprises. Might do something different next week. Be well, everybody. So. I'm not. <laughs> uh, follow me on Twitter at Jables Boogly for updates. And uh, join the Discord. I think next week we're going to finish the Bill of Rights and talk. Uh, do that on... It'll be either Saturday or Sunday. Um. Yeah, we'll let you oh. know gotta make it to that one uh yeah we'll talk about that after the show Mm -hmm. all right later everyone later everybody